good. How are you? Good. All right. Let me see if I can share my screen here. Okay. Let me know if you got it. That's up. Okay. Tell me what you're in right now. Google, Netflix, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Qs, Microsoft, AAL, Apple, Amazon, Spy, CCL, Diamonds. Okay, you're everything. in everything. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I should have just said No, that's everything. okay. You're, just, you're in everything. That's good. Okay, so the Listen, Apple. It must be the pain medication, my, my mistake. That's all right. <laughs> so the Apple that I just called today, uh -huh. are you, you're in that one too. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one's going to move pretty fast because I did it for a Friday expiration. Right. So again, if you want to book something today, you uh -huh. know, you could book that or even the Tesla looks really good today. Where are you at with that? I'm up for, uh, I'm only at 478 on that. Because, yeah, but it looks good. It looks good. Yeah. So let's talk about some targets here for this. Like, where do you think this will go? Here's the daily chart or look at your <laughs> own. Like, so it's like this could be really, really good here. I think my my feel on tesla for a target without looking at my chart which i know you're going to scream at me hold on i believe tesla is going to go dip down around 350 325. well i mean 360 i think is realistic i mean anything okay. anything under 360 again just looking here snug as a bug look at my chart 360 363 362 this is a 50 pair moving average if, if for some reason it would break that, I mean, again, if we end up gapping down tomorrow, this will gap down too. This will fall. This could even go to, this could go to 320. It could go some sick number if the market falls Thursday, Friday. But I'm just saying, like, if you want to get going here to just chunk it out, book some money of some things, you know what I mean? Like, kind of, right. you know, you could do that and book some, hold some, whatever. This is moving today. Uh, the new Apple's moving today. And I really think some of these other things are gonna get moving today too, because we're getting some nice traction here, really. Yeah. Um, now, JPM, you did do, you did do that. Where are you at with that? JP Morgan, um, I took some money in it originally. I'm only up 250 bucks right now. Right, but, but once it breaks and continues, good. this looks good as well. So again, this could have some mojo in it today. I mean, this could even get all the way down to 90, 93 today or 92.50. So again, you have okay. a lot on because I called a million trades this week. <laughs> so I mean, I, what? I called a million trades this week. So you have a lot on. So you can. Oh, God, like, I got a ton on. Yeah, yeah. So you could take a look at everything here between 12 to and into the close. If you want to get out of the things that have moved today. You still have plenty of things on if we get the move that I'm expecting Thursday. Do you know what I mean? Like if you want to just get safe in some of these things, get out of them, take your risk off, book some money, you could do that. So let's just look at the ones you should focus on today. JPM, you should focus on today. Tesla, you okay. should focus on today. The new Apple that I called, you should focus on today. Um, let me just look at what else. Hey, Melissa, thanks again. I, I'm so happy that we met many years ago. I know, it's a long time now. I enjoy <laughs> the trading room so much. It makes me chuckle all the time. I know, and I appreciate you sending me articles because I really, I've been trying to stay away from the news because it, sometimes it does get in your head. It really does get in your head. Like it does. It, you have to not listen. It can really just, any of the littlest thing, if you're like in a lot of money in the market like this, like we are right now. Yeah. And, you know, one little thing can throw you off balance. You got to learn to refine that, you know, that part of you, you know, yeah. when you do that. Yeah. I think it was, you know, I, I like I had a mentoring session with a lady yesterday and, you know, she's, she's not in everything, goes. but We're she's starting to move hard, a little harder. Yeah. She's in a couple of things and, you know, sometimes you just got to re go over it with someone so they see it. You know what I mean? It's just as simple as that. It's like one thing that they just don't see and then you explain it. And then they see it and it makes people feel better. But I mean, this this wasn't what I would say was even a hard like, I mean, to me, the, it was a pathetic rally yesterday. But we're going to make a hard turn here. We're going to make a hard turn down is what we're doing here today. And we've started it. And this this couldn't have worked out better unless it's we already starting. Right? It's starting to go harder right now. If you look at it. I mean, well, yeah, I, I think that they're the, testifying. The yeah, they're testifying today. And I kind of had it on before we were talking and. Of course, they're they're talking about the fact that this many more people can die and this many more whatever. I mean, it's just, you just can't listen to right. it. It's too depressing. Okay, so what are you going to do? Like, say you get up tomorrow morning, let's get a plan of action together here for you. 
if we gap down tomorrow morning and everything that you have on that you still have on tomorrow is in the money up when you get up in the morning you're you you know you you don't always you know what i'm doing what i'm leaving doing? and going to disney world this time <laughs> Because I've taken too many round trips recently when I have been like halfway paying attention and that market has turned on me and I have like lost out on so much gain I could have snared. Well, uh, well, well, you're getting back in your groove here though. You had a good wink last week. You had a good wink last oh, week. Oh yeah. Didn't you? I'm great. I mean, I think I'm, didn't I, I think, I'm, oh my God, you're going to tell me again. Don't forget. I have no, a little you fuzzy memory. Me you yeah, I think you I made 10 or 15 last week. I can't remember. Yeah, and you didn't even you didn't even hold this stuff into Monday, did you? No, no, no. Yeah, so you could have made more. You could have made more. So yeah. I wouldn't. I I mean, again, you got to look at the timing. Since I don't have anything out till next Friday, I would be very careful. And again, what you could do is what you could do is if I call new trades tomorrow, which I don't know if I'm going to do. Then again, get out of everything right into the open. Take the new ones. That's what I'm going to do. That's my plan tomorrow morning is to be ready to just roll out Yeah. and take the profits and we'll set up again. You know what? The party is just starting. Yeah. I October think, is yeah. going to be crazy. I just feel it. When is October? Is October is next week, uh, I think. Yeah. October is next week, I think. Yeah, October 1st yeah, is Friday. Yeah, it's next Friday, I think. No, October 1st is Friday. October third is Thursday. The second is Friday. Okay. okay. All right. So oh, you're doing to. you're doing good here. So I I don't know. Did you do the FDX? Someone was talking about that. I don't know if this is going to make it. I don't. I Unless don't. I did FDX and I had a tiny. Tr it never really took off. And no. I want to tell you what I did. It was because I was going to have surgery and stuff. Yeah. I went ahead and killed it because I had a feeling it was going to be a tough one to watch and I yeah. didn't know what was going to happen. You know, as far as trading for a couple of days, so I already killed it, and that's I didn't fine. stay that's in fine. it. That's so. fine. I don't. I think that, again, if um, the market turns, this isn't going to go. This is the only thing that's really lost, except for that one Boeing from the one fifty fives from two, two, three weeks ago, whatever. But this even looks good now. This even well, that looks good FedEx now. is just crazy rallying because they put a five hundred dollar price target on it. And oh, I didn't see I that. Every millennial in the world must have bought it at Robin. What's it called? Acorn or whatever it's called. Okay. All right, so you're in everything here, and you're starting to get some traction, which is good. Yeah. You're going to book some of the things here into the close today. Then you're going to get up tomorrow morning. Then if we're down a lot, you're going to get out, and then we'll see if I call any, any new things. So um, how are you doing with your risk then per trade? Are you keeping it around that 1500 or did you put it back? or what That's you what I'm doing. I'm back on that discipline. You know my only exceptions are, and you know technically – um, if I pay Tesla. more attention, I could probably make bigger trades, but because we've seen how I get sidetracked. Yeah. Um, I do everything on that target price, except if I make a Tesla or Amazon trade. Okay. You know, I don't trade multiple multiples of them. I trade one of each. Google, that's my rule. I mean, this so, Amazon has a, a huge target. So did what ones of these did, I caught a couple in these. What ones of these did you do? Okay, you're gonna you're gonna die. Um, what the ones that you called a couple of days ago? You killed them. No. Oh, all right. no, no, not at all. I'm in it. I'm in twenty nine fifty, twenty nine, um, twenty eight fifty, and three thousand. So. Okay. I think what I kind of you had called I think slightly different numbers, but what yeah. happened was I'd gotten out of stuff again. That's okay. And I wanted to get back in when I was okay, feeling okay that I could trade. And that's why the numbers may be different than your original calls. Well that's okay. That's okay, as long as you have something down below. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting for it to rock. And it's I, I just feel that this week is the beginning of something crazy. Between China, the tech pullback stimulus no stimulus there's just too many well i just felt me. like september was going to be bearish or i felt like that literally like the second third day of the month and that has rung true and and but then when we have rallies like we did yesterday it scares a lot of people that are short but you got like again i wish everything that i called worked the second that i called it which sometimes happens like this apple today is going to go and i called it today uh, the same hello day. melissa and then everybody would trade right? i know, I know. <laughs> it's like i know no I know it's crazy when people I know it's hard. It's hard to stay brave through this. Yeah. It is. Even if you know in your heart 
in your head, I mean, the technical, logical of everything, mm -hmm. something just goes wonky in there every once in a while. So you have like 17, 18 trades on, or how many do you have on? Oh, gosh, this is one. Yep. Okay. 18. Okay. So depending on where we open tomorrow, if everything goes, you'll probably make, I think you're going to make around 40 grand this week. So we'll see. We'll see. You just got to write it out. Because, I mean, if we end up, That'd if we great. end up going, we're going to go, and we're going to go pretty hard to the downside, I mean, so. Ooh, I need to retake that Boeing trade. I took a little money out of that the other day. We should do that for next week. Yeah. Cool. I just, I don't want to get too crazy here. Okay, I mean, maybe, maybe we just have a week where we don't take anything into the weekend. You know, like, I mean. You know what? That's just... right. I keep forgetting. You know, since every day is just day, I forgot. And I've been do. I don't mean to. And I forget and do trades that I really can't get out of because of when I, I took them late in the week, you know. Exactly. So I, don't, I think I'm going to stay away from that this coming weekend if I can. Well, I don't know what I'm going to call new this week, if anything at all. There's tens out that I already called. So we have to, you just have to kind of just let these things play out. Now, Costco yeah. out tonight. I don't know if we're going to do anything that with Nike. Nike didn't do what I wanted it to do. Now, even this is trying to go. But again, I'm very cautious here wanting to go long anything. FDX was a good gap, didn't work because of the market. This now, I think, is not going to work if the market falls. So I'm going to just be very, very cautious even in the Costco um tonight so i you know, we're in we're in enough here if it makes the turnaround and the drop off that the, that we don't have to do anything else really yeah you know we got um we got the turn on um nike and costco even on their last earnings remember yep yep i do it's feels like, like a long time tough. ago though <laughs> okay it's All right, okay listen, we'll get them fabulous so you know what you're doing today it's only 11 yeah. 30. you're gonna watch everything into the close see what you're gonna do that Send me any more articles, and you're doing good. I think you're doing great. Thanks for everything, Melissa. All, right. All right. Have a good day. Have a great day. Thanks. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.